Welcome to the Waterloo School Student News Bunger Middle School Edition. I'm Rianne. And I'm Reed. All Waterloo School's pre-K students had a chance to get hands-on learning on the Snowflake Express thanks to the Experiential and Service Learning Grant. Here's more about it. Almost 740 Waterloo School preschool children and their parents are all on one train. That the parents are taking a busy Saturday, and then we're all here, and the kids are experiencing transportation. They've been studying about it, and now they're experiencing it. That is just what's the most exciting thing for me. I think it's a great thing for them. She's been so excited about it every day. She's like, "Are we going on the train? Are we going on the train?" And so today it's like we're going on the train. She's like, "Yay!" So. How excited. <laughs> I was very excited about it, so I was hoping that I would get the families excited about it. I had never gone on the Snowflake Express, and so for my family to have that opportunity, it was very exciting for them. One of my grandchildren just said this was a first train ride. So actually being on a train and what it's like, I just want them to have the experience. And it's the holidays, so it's uh, another activity for them to be able to do. So, all right. Here you go. You know, the kids just love it. We can all be together and watch the kids enjoy it. We enjoy it, too. Um, guys, what do you guys do? I think it's awesome. It gives the kids a chance to see each other outside of school and bring their families in on it and not always do it in the classroom. So I think it's a great thing. We tried to immerse it in all the different aspects of our room. Some of our kids' favorite part was when they saw the cars that had to stop then because they saw the signs that we had in our room in the block area. Switch the switch turned it around. Ooh, we had talked about that. So it just really encompassed a lot of our curriculum. They drew some pictures and they were doing some writing. Uh, we also did some art activities, some music. Then we also ended up bringing in the cultural piece to it. Why some African Americans had traveled from the Mississippi and Southern states to come to Waterloo to work around the trains. And we've been pretending with trains. Yeah. We talked a lot about trains over the last couple weeks. I want you to journal about something that was your favorite part about the train. Did all your family get to go on the train? What was your favorite part about the train, David? It went fast. It went fast. I don't know if many of them even said Santa. They were just talking about what they've learned about the train and that that we've talked about over the last couple weeks. Was this the tank car? Yeah. And this is being pulled by the? Engine. By the engine, which can also be called a? Locomotive. Locomotive, you're right. I think that this was a really great opportunity because there's a lot of kids that wouldn't get to go on a train any other time in their life had it not been for this experience. And definitely not on a train with their teachers on a Saturday. So it was really nice opportunity that we were given. Well, without the grant, we would not have been able to take this trip. A majority of my students would never really get to experience this. And they see the trains, and I have even one little train conductor in our room, and that was just a highlight of his year. So I think this is something that he's going to remember forever. Everyone matters in the Waterloo schools. This video shows us how meaningful it is to pay kindness and caring forward. Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning, time to go. Got that smile upon my face, cause there's excitement in the chase, this I know. Yeah, I'm going for the ride, and by myself I am alive, and I soar. Still I run to Challenge, draw me in, cause I want more Oh, we are all looking for adventure We are all looking for adventure We are all looking for adventure 
Younger ELP students creatively used a Sphero and a Mickey Mickey to conduct music, including using fellow students. Great work is being done in the classroom thanks to a Waterloo Schools Foundation grant. Let's learn more. So this is our crazy uh, ELP class with our Spheros and our Mickey Mickeys. This was part of a Waterloo Schools Foundation grant. We were able to go up to UNI last year and show the teachers at UNI how to use those things. I think the Sphero within itself is a good way to start and then just kind of advance yourself throughout, you know, coding and further yourself in a career like engineering or programming. It's simple to use for anyone of any age, but sometimes it can be a little bit harder to use because you have to find out angles and where to stop and where to go. Exploring different circuits with the Makey Makey and just different ideas. There's a lot of different ways to program uh, the Makey Makey. You can also reprogram it or using our Circuit Scribe, which was another grant we got from the Waterloo Schools Foundation also. Of course, with the Makey Makey, it's set up to the panel and everybody is being assigned a note. So what I'll do is I'll touch their hand and then the note will play through the computer. I think they enjoy just coming up with crazy ideas, like playing the piano on chairs by stepping on them, figuring out the problems, solving the problems, facing the challenge, and moving on from there. The possibilities are endless if the kids just keep dreaming. The Waterloo Career Center is great for all students. See how the student excels in the sustainable construction class. It does just set everything up the same. I'm glad that this has come and it's been a great opportunity for those kids that have the learning disabilities. A lot of kids that have learning disabilities are very hands-on kids, um, learn differently, and hence they're very hands-on here. He's keeping up very well. Mr. Lichty and Mr. Lauer said that they couldn't tell that he's any different than anybody else. He's very good, asks a lot of questions, stays on task most of the time. He's always, always moving around looking for something to do. We always keep him busy and uh, there's always in the next project. We can always move on to the next project if we have to. Right now he's working on a model home and we build model homes just so they can learn the names of all the parts of a framed wall system. It's a lot, it's right along the same lines that uh, they would do if they went to Hawkeye for the same class that they are going to get Hawkeye credit for. So it works out good at both ways. A lot of kids come here very early. Class doesn't start until 8.15. And I know there's been times that Brennan's been here at like 7, 7.30. Oh, Mr. Lichty said we can come in. So he comes early and he's like, if I could take all day classes here, he would. I really enjoy coming to this class. This class has helped me like figure out kind of, of things I want to do. It means that if he can handle it here, he can handle it at any college. I know that he can handle it because he's been doing very well here. Thanks for watching. Go, Go Bunger, Bunger Wolves! Wolves.